So I'm sitting here having a nice Christmas evening, eh? all with myself here. And look at this, you know, I, I just I, I just saw the logo of Samsonite. Look at that. It's got a bloody swastika in the middle. And it's the concept of four. I showed it in my film, the swastika from the pyramid. Look, so it's a concept of four, and the circle in the middle is a concept of three, square and compass. Eh? Oh, a swastika and Samsonite. Oh, it's American, isn't it? Look, it even got a swastika on the zipper. Look at that. Look down, the zipper. Even on the zipper it is. I heard the Nazis, they had a swastika on their zippers. Maybe that's why they do it, you know? No, I wouldn't like to have a swastika on my zipper or, or a, a swastika tattoo on my dick. Come on. This, well, what they're doing is like putting a swastika tattoo on our dicks, you know? It's right in our faces, eh? And nobody sees it. The enemy within, you know? Like showing the dicks in front of our faces with a bloody swastika on it, you damn Nazis. You know, the Nazis won the war. I've been telling you, the Germans lost it and the Nazis won it. Like, like... Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen that? A swastika on a zipper? I don't dare to open it anymore, you know? I've got a problem with it now. God, it's horrendous, isn't it? A swastika on a zipper. Have you ever seen that? Samsonite. Well, this is more like dynamite, eh? Samsonite. Yeah, and they look like ovals as well, little ovals or crescent moons around each other, you know? It, it, it has more like a square in the middle as well, you know, than a circle. Well, maybe it's worn out. No, it must be a circle. So there is the concept of four and the concept of three. All these initiates, they all say the square and compass here. Right? Would you believe that? A swastika and a zipper? It's, it reminds me of the um, Jehovah's Witnesses having a, uh, a square on compass on a t-shirt underneath their, their nice shirts and, and, and their ties where, where the titties are there it, it, it says the square and compass and where, where the navel is uh, there is a uh, no, I don't remember what a moon or something a crescent moon or, I don't remember what it was but where the titties are, you know, at the height of your titties, it shows the uh, one side the square and the other side the compass. You can see this in this film um, about this bloke going to um, to Bob Larson, the Australian uh, uh, present famous presentator on TV, uh, going to Bob Larson have an exorcism, and he also went to the uh, the, um, the um, the Mormons, it was the Mormons. Did I say Jehovah's Witness? No, the Mormons. The Mormons, they also have this sort of stuff here. Maybe this is Samsonite, just look it up. It's probably from Salt Lake City or something, eh? I mean, they, they, they got their money somewhere from, eh? Can you believe it? Well, have a nice Christmas, you all, eh? Have a nice swastika Christmas. Ah, yeah, yeah, just like in the Third Reich. Im Dritten Reich, ja, mit dem Hagenkreuz. Oh, this is. I'm really shocked. I'm, I'm really shocked about that. And it comes from a pyramid, folks. And from a Templar's cross. See my video. It's all. The Templars won the war. It's all Templars related. No, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Hugo Boss, the guy who developed the SS uh, Wehrmacht, the uh, uniforms, you know, he had one of these on his zippers, uh, the, the swastika on the zipper, look at that, eh? yeah. 
I mean, they like to hang around together, you know, all guys, you know, and rub each other's asses. <laughs> Just like Hitler himself, um, sexually, he was very questionable. Like uh, the second in charge of the um, Le Front National is Florian Filippo, living together with another bloke. Uh, the head of the German ex extreme, extremist right wing um, party, her name is Alice Weidel, living in Switzerland, of course, together with another girl, having two kiddies. Uh, in, in the Netherlands, you had this guy, uh, Pim Fortoon, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, extreme right winger, um, also, you know, like um, a zipper guy, let's call him a zipper guy, you know, you know what I mean. I'm not allowed to pronounce it. Um, but the, uh, the cloggies, apparently, they understood it and they, um, uh, they shot him I don't know, a couple of years back. Um, why? Why is it so full of, um, of zipper guys and zipper girls with swastikas on their zippers? Eh? Well, because Jews and Muslims, for them, sodomism and homosexuality is a, is a sin. And they're against it. So, they must die. You know, according to these people who are in right-wing movements and who want to live their free sexual lives, you know, whatever they want to do, you know. And I have to be very careful what I say, as we are in a full dictatorship, people, it's all censorship. Uh, they can organize and, you know, uh, kill us by the millions, but we, are not, we must be very careful what we say. You know, it's 1984, eh? A brave new world. We are here. And it's full of them, right? You can check it out yourself. Alice, this is actual now, you know? Alice Weidel, AFD, right-wing party, who want to kill people by the millions. Florian Filippo, same thing. The Front National, second man, well, I used to be, of um, Marine Le Pen, um, uh, the, uh, the Pem Fortune. Yeah. And, and many, many more, or, or, of whom we don't even know their names. I infiltrated Octagon. I tell you, people, it was full of them. Now, they want to kill Muslims. The Jews are going to leave alone for a while, but I'm not sure. It's, it's coming back, eh? Um... Now it's like Muslims, they, the right-wingers and the ones who are against is free sexuality for our children and everything. They want to kill the Muslims and their children, just as they did with the Jew, and it is going to happen. They got all the laws, all the lawyers, they got all on their side, eh? Well, I'm not allowed to say more. Right. Eh? So... You all put a swastika on your zipper. Nice, isn't it? Gosh, man, eh? Night, night. Night, night, humanity. You don't unite, then it will be night, night. Bye, bye. Interesting place. I came here in the night. You think I could put my tent here? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I did, eh? I just, you know, like this, you know, make it all flat here, all the bushes. Petrol station is right there. And there's next to it. But not, never on the, uh, on the petrol station itself, you know, cops might be passing by, uh, the, uh, the human uh, problem, yeah. Humans make problems. Yeah, I, I don't have any problems. You know. Might be a tree falling down, that's all. Yeah, it's being, looks a bit like the bush in South Africa, eh? 
Uh. 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 Oh, you saw me. Uh, what is he doing there? Uh. Uh, like a spiral. Some more artwork, you know, in a circle, the concept of three for the compass. And there are three, there are four circles in it for the concept of four. And a circle by itself is the, um, the concept of three. And it's being held together by two Templar V's here. You know, the whole system is being held together by two Templar, v Templar V's, you see. And here's where it all derives from. I wonder the thing in the middle. <clears throat> you see, there are four. Four of them. Hey? Concept of four. And you got Isis looking over it. Hey? Look at that. Starbucks. Well, not my box, eh? Hey? There's me. Hitchhiking. All together in two times Templars V. Right? This thing in the middle. And here, you got the, the Templars V in that here. And the concept of three, and the thing is in a square, which is a concept of four. The eyes is looking over it. Ah, the concept of hitchhiking. I got invited here by a very friendly Arab girl in this restaurant here. I didn't ask for it. I made so many nice Arabs, really. Algerians, oh, what is it focusing Ah, oh, come on. Let's try it again. Well, anyway, it says quick. So, but then I saw this here, this thing here, of course I saw the red and white, I passed here a couple of times and never saw it, but maybe because it's blinking now I saw it. So of course you got the, the Templars colours and the colours of the Swiss flag, red and white. The horizon horizontally you see four, the concept of four, which is the square. Vertically, there are three, which is the, the vertical rule as well. And three is the compass with which you can make the side of a pyramid. It's the hierarchy, so this is them. And four, it's us, the square. I explain it in the film, The Swiss Bees, Home of the Devil. And then there is a lot of, <clears throat> so it's all mixed together, you know. So that means in the white, the New World Order, there's always a little bit of red because we have peace now. And from the, the Old World Order, the old feudal system, there's always a little bit of white in it. That's where they came from. And you see here, you see the, um, and do it like this. There's, there are three here, three whites. And here too, there are three whites. Here there are, um, oh, here it is, here three reds, it's always three, and here horizontal, you get also three and one. So even in here, the horizontal one, the four, you got also three and four all together. And there's a lot of twos as well. Um, Like here, um, oh, it's a lot of people standing in front of it. Sorry, but anyway, you'll you'll find the explanation in the film *The Swiss Bees, Home of the De Home, Home of the Devil*. It's the Swiss flag, you know, Swiss colours, their base of Pharaoh, and you find this everywhere. <clears throat> Our masters, they put it everywhere, and people are all walking past it, and only the initiated. They see it, and if they don't see it, or well, they make sure that the uh, the master evil one open up, opens up their eyes for them. 
Oh, there, there, there was there, there were two two whites here, and here too. So the two plays a role because, like in skull and bones, here also two in the line. We're counting the lines, then, eh? And here also two. <coughs> Because skull and bones is 3, 2, 2, and 2 plus 2 is 4, the concept of 4. So that's why they do it like that here. There is a 2 in it as well. So I'm here in the quick restaurant. The fly is going to try to nick me a hamburger. Mm. <coughs> okay. Um, so here, people, we can see the uh, another the concept of four here, and it's almost a template square. And here, there's the oval with a compass. You can make a circle. So it says square and compass. It's always the same. And in the colors, red, white, and blue, as always. I say it's red and white. You know everything, and you know the um, the uh, traffic shields as well. That means we give the orders, the New World Order, red and white, of the Templars, Switzerland. We give the orders! Yeah? So if there's a stop sign, here's a stop sign. Ooh, like here. It says, we give you an order! Stop, I tell you! In red and white. It means it's all red and white here. It means the, t the earth, it all belongs to us. And look, there's even a bloody pyramid in it. Look at that. There you go. So the oh. The pyramid. And there's one part, there's another one, they all got pyramids. That's, that's what I've been telling you, folks. Hey? And it got a line here for the horizontal rule under, underneath. The two pyramids. It's probably in a measure like one to four. So it got the concept of three and the concept of four probably. It's always the same. Yeah. The masters. Hey you dumb slaves. When are you gonna wake up, hey? I don't know what's wrong here. There's nobody coming here. They're all going to the wrong side. I'm gonna stay for another two days probably again. Bloody hell. So in all the petrol stations in France they got a bloody shower. Look at that. I didn't even know that. Well I noticed that you know the uh, the truck drivers are all going like in there. Oh, I can't see anything anymore. Yeah, so I noticed all the truck drivers went in there, but I never dared to ask, you know, because uh, I thought well it's only for the truck drivers. I mean I'm just a homeless, you know. What's a homeless? But that was really good. People very friendly and fantastic. Oh, that was my shower on the French petrol station on the motorway. Uh, yeah, good stuff. I'm here in Italy and um, in Monaco here. In the, the making, well, it's, not, well, it's still 100 kilometers. They're making publicity for something of the pharaohs. And it says here Grimaldi, They're, they are the, the royal house ruling over Monaco. You see the G here? Freemason G, I don't know what the F is for. And here you see a Templars V and a double V in here, one, one uh, again. Um, probably the concept of three and four as well. Um, and of course, you know, it says Principauté, the Prince. Principality of Monaco, and they also had a Swiss guard, you know. They had a Swiss guard, and it's red and white, their flag. That's why they're still there, you know, because they were, they didn't persecute the Templars, of course. It's all the same. Grimaldi, Masons, Pharaohs, here you can see it's all the same, folks. It's all the same. Pharaoni, in a bus here in Italy. Bad weather. Look at that, that's a big spider. Eh? Look at that, eh? Look at the eyes. Wow, that's big, eh? Hope it's not going to jump on me. That's a big eye. Yeah. See the 
这顺，行，我这我。I just caught it with this handy device here. Look at that. Oh, big one. Huh? It's looking at me. Look, it's real handy. You know, I, this is it's a switch here. Look at that. There's a switch, and I can, if I pull this back here, it opens up the door. Look, it's opened up the door. Now I'm going to close it again. You know, look, it's getting very agitated. Look at that. Gonna throw it outside. It was real quick. A little bigger. It's gonna, gonna attack the plastic, eh? All right, let's go. Let's throw it out, toss it out, eh? Let's go, Swiss, eh? I'll toss you out, eh? Your time is up, Swiss, eh? Out you go. I just got a bloody scorpion in it as well. Look at that. Hello. Hello. He's not happy. Neither am I. Hello, Swissy, you venomous creature. Hey, you want to get me in your claws again, eh, Swissy? And kill me as you killed many people, Swissy? Hey, you ugly creature. I'm gonna throw you out, Swissy. Bye bye. Gone, eh? Bye bye, Swissy. Hey, how many legs? Oh, eight legs, have you? Octagon, hey? Look at that, eight legs, hey, Swissy. Gosh, man. Get out of here, Swissy. So I'm in, uh, like in a children's shop here. And it's everywhere people. So there's one quarter missing, so there are three quarters left. You know, that's three and four. So the concept of three and four. And the circle is the, the compass. And there's a square in it as well. Yeah. It's everywhere. So we're here now. The children's shop getting some stuff. Now look people, there's this film here called The Kingsman. Hey, there we go again. The King. So who are the Kingsman? Um, it's really well done, but of course there's a message behind it. Look here, the Golden Circle. They got this organization in Geneva, Switzerland, called the uh, the Cercle. Le Cercle. I think they even have the same 
like symbol. And it says the Secret Service. The Secret Service is of the King. And here you see a Templar's V. Look, there's the horizontal rule. It all, it's all together. And this, the circle, is the, um, the compass. It's all Freemasonry. The compass is Freemasonry. They come out of the Templars, the V, who made the horizontal rule. And before, so everybody thinks there's a K here for Kingsman. And you see that, uh, why they put the K here. Because here you see, look, it's the vertical rule. Eh? But the king, there was a transition, two world wars, the revolution. Look, the king is on his back, like like this. The king is gone, eh? There are no more real kings. All kings of today, they're all and queens, are all republicans. So the king is on his back and it became the horizontal rule. Out of the vertical rule. Eh? So this is just cynical, you know, the kingsmen. Because actually the kingsmen are against the king. Um, they, you know, making the the new world order. Yeah, the new world order out of the old world order. The king. Hey, eh? this is what it means. Okay, you get me. It's very, really nicely done, you know. But for the initiator, there's a message behind it. Kingsman. Actually, the Kingsman, they betrayed the King. And there was the revolution going on. They said, oh, the people of France, they're so happy. They got enough food. And, you know, the Kingsman, the ones who betrayed the King, who made it possible. And uh, so the Kingsman, it's not the King. They're the Kingsman. The King's, the king's man. And uh, so... The kingsmen, they took away all the food of the people and they they had risen against the French king. The only real king um, in the entire world who resisted the new world order. The only king in the entire world, well, and the Tsars, of course. So you get it? It's all symbology, it's all occult, Freemasonry. Right, you see, it's all gold, pharaonic, and you are just a slave, right? We got no more freedom, we sold our freedom for all the comfort we're having nowadays. And all the goodies we can buy and drive around the whole day and pretending to be a real man. And you know, they're gonna they're gonna punch us the uh, the mark of the beast the six 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 you know so that means the six 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 that's total comfort and total total control no more freedom look at this one Game of Thrones it's the same it's the same as this one here Kingsman eh? uh, first of all game in English game is also it's not only a game you know a play you do but it's also you know what you hunt the game eh? of thrones you see the T they make a big horizontal rule here because the game of thrones it was a fight between the vertical rule and the, and the horizontal rule the old world's order this is the old world's order you see here the vertical rule and there are three lines, the concept of three. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there too. And you can see it maybe better on that one. There. It's in a circle. A circle is like a conspiracy, a circle. Eh? A circle of friends or a circle of... Eh? It's the, uh, the compass. The T. Maybe the Tau symbol is uh, the horizontal rule and um, and here these things here here you can here you can see them better here this is in a Templar's cross here you see 
and this one is in an oct octagon here, all around it. Eh? It's all the same. It's the same as this one here. It's all a reference to the internal war of our masters. Eh? And these ones won the war. This is the Game of Thrones. And uh, these are our masters. You know, who knows where they come from, eh? Doesn't look very good. Look at that. Doesn't look good at all. The masters. With these two daggers in his head, like that. Templar daggers. Eh? Game of Thrones. Kingsman are masters. And you're just a dumb slave. Slave making a little bit of heating his house. That's all they care about, you know, eat and be in the warmth. Have a nest, follow the women. That's what the slaves like. And of course, I forgot to tell you, they're the G, they made the G big. It could be a coincidence because it's the beginning of the title, but um, I tell you, it is not. If the G would be in the middle of the word, they would make it big here in the middle of the word. Our masters. The all-seeing eye. Look, Sensodyne. Excellent toothpaste. Really good. Look at this. Look at the logo. You see the four rings here? Four times, like Audi cars. It's the Vesica Pices, Vesica Piscas. It means one for all and all for one. I already explained it to you. In the middle you can see the oval starting up here. Like the oval office of the president. Um, who's right now showing his ugly face now. It was just a matter of time. So that's the, um, the concept of four, eh, for the square, that's us, four rings. And the ring itself, you can make that with a compass. And the compass is the concept of three. So it's all here, the concept of three and the concept of four. It's everywhere, folks. All big companies, they all belong to the pharaohs the mace and their masons. If you are just a little slave and you want to start up your own company, they, they won't let you. Forget about it. They won't let you. They won't. Because we are the slaves and they are these ones, the masters. So you might be able to get somewhere, you know, with a... Um, if you join a Freemason lodge, but they will, they'll, they'll break you in the end anyway, you know. And you, you, you won't, if you're not one of them, you know, if you're not one of the bloodline, you can't really enter a lodge, eh? You can't knock on the door and say, oh, here I am, can you take me, eh? It's them who knock on your door, because they know who you are and where you come from. They know your bloodline. You know, we slaves, we have nothing written down. We don't have any history. Anyone who has nothing written down has no history. Like the Italians here, you know, they have no history. They don't know that they are the slaves of Pharaoh. You know, original, the original slaves from, from the Nile River. They don't know, here's some more ovals in it, eh? Yeah. In blue for the war color. It's a it's a it's a war on your on the bacteria. Eh? It's a fluoride. Fluoride very good. Yes, yeah, all in the red and white and blue colors. Eh? Fluoride's very good. It's very good for you. You know, don't drink it. It's not good in the drinking water. But it's very good because you need something that kills the bacteria. And the bacteria, if you don't kill them. They will kill your teeth, eh? 
and uh, so you need something. You have to make a choice. You know, it's a uh, it's a compromise. Eh? Either your teeth, or either get some fluoride. You know, fluoride is good for you. It's good for your teeth, but don't get it into your stomach. Right? Eh? Don't believe anything. Everything that's in the internet. You know, do not believe everything. Use your mind. Eh? Okay. Okie dokie then, eh? Sensodyne. Sensodyne. Yeah. Use your mind, people. And believe me, of course. <laughs> uh, here we got a can of uh, like liquid sugar, a melasse, from Switzerland. Right here it says Switzerland, CH. Look at the logo. You see the Templars V, it's in a coat of arms. Uh, it has the, the blue war color, the white for the New World Order. This guy doesn't like the royalty, there's no red in it. But there is gold. Like the Templar V is gold. The Templars are golden. The Masons are golden, you see. It's all occult, everything belongs to them. And look at the name. Veron. Veron. Like Tutankhamun, Akhenaton, Veron, Veron, très bon. Yeah, well, oui, vous êtes très bon. Hein? <laughs> you see blue. If you see these guys with ties, you know they they they're giving information by the ties. You see a lot of red ties. They are royalists. And you see a lot of blue ties. Most of them are blue, like. Trump is having a blue tie all the time, and Macron also. That means they want war. They, they're giving out the information. They're heading for war. They want war. They're teaming up for war. The Freemasons, the enemy within. And then there's also white ties. But okay, that on a white shirt it doesn't. And they also have pins like on, the, on their chests, you know, giving the colors away, like red, white and blue. And white, yeah, if it's white, it's for the New World Order. Usually they got a blue tie and a red pin on their chest. A little red pin. That means they're royalists or pharaohs, you know, the Old World Order. And we're heading for war, eh? Don't do it, folks. The Iranians are not the enemy either. Don't do it. Not even for the Jews. They, they never harmed any Jews in, in Iran. They're living very comfortably there. The the um, the the Israel Israel the the New World Order state of Israel, like any other New World Order state, they're not different. They offered the uh, the Jews in Iran uh, uh, to come to Israel, like oh, already 20, 30 years ago, well, at the time uh, when there was the um, Ethiopian Exodus, as they call it, eh? going back home then to Zion <clears throat> so they said no 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 we what do we don't want to we're happy here the Iranians don't do us anything you know that they're, they're not like the Arabs in, in Baghdad or anything you know anyway the Jews they live in peace also with the Arabs they call them the the Misrahim Misrahim the uh, the Oriental Jews and uh, were quite disregarded in Israel, apparently. And they said, no, you can keep your, your, she your shekels and all that in Israel. We're not going anywhere. We're, we are fine here. This is our home. We've been here since 2000 years. We, lo we love Iran. We're going to stay in Iran. We don't want to go to Israel. Well, anyway, template. You see, it's, it's a template coat of arms, the whole thing, eh? Très bon. Uh -huh. Veron, très bon. Must have been something with the Templars, Veron. If you look it up in the internet, Veron, there must be something. I have no internet here. Must have been a battle or something. It looks like an ear. You think it's an ear on the right side? <laughs> it's a sandwich. <laughs> you stick that sandwich on your ear, eh? Look, here I got some nice dates here from Israel that says Tel Aviv Israel 
Now look from Hadi Climb Limited, grown packed in Israel. Well, they were bought in Switzerland, I suppose. But have a look at this. You know, they are the the fat dates are called medjol. Medjol. I don't know how to pronounce that. Here, it says King Solomon dates. That should already, you know, ring a bell, you know, when they talk about a king, eh? It's them, the pharaohs. And they think about everything. Look at it. They got the, the R sign here. What does it mean again? I forgot about it. Registered or something. And for the equilibrium, they put a little circle here on the other side. Look at that. These are, per these are perfectionists. See, a little circle there. They think about everything. And the whole thing is in a circle, which is a compass, right? the king. It's all, from, it's all from the king, all this stuff, right? So this, which is the, the concept of three. So there should also be, which is them, there should also be the concept of four. It's got like four rings underneath the five balls, but that's not clear enough. He's got four beard hairs coming out of his chin here. But, well, you might say, okay, that's maybe not clear. But anyway, it's King Solomon, eh? The pharaohs. But look at this here. Look. The name of the company here. Uh, what's the name of the company? Yeah. It says um, Jordan River. You see? And the whole thing is in an oval, like the Oval Office. Or it could also be like a circle, but then a little bit, you know, a plate like being turned around, eh? But look at the eye. I won't focus in there. Eh? I'm not sure if you can see it. Look at the eye. It, it's got two dots on it. I should get some more light. Wait a minute, folks. It won't focus in. I need some more light. So I've got a flashlight here. Look. Now it will focus in. Now we've got a little funny glitch in it. You see on the eye, excuse me for the glitch, you see the doppel, the doppel dots on the eye. Well, why is that? I mean, these people think about everything. Eh? Don't you think this is a mistake? For it is not. So there are three items on, all together with the eye. Yeah? There is the vertical rule. The pillar, the eye, and then the three, the two, the two dots on it. So that's three altogether. The concept of three, which is them. It's a side of the pyramid. So where's the concept of four? Can anybody see it? Yeah. The day tree's got four branches on it. The four branches, hey? Eh? That's us. It's the base, the square. So it does say the square and compass, and there's even an oval in the whole thing in it. And there's probably more things, you know, why, why is Jordan more up than river? It says JR. Um, it all has a meaning, yeah? So, from Israel, eh? And of course, they are not the real Jews here. These are our masters, also in Israel. It's the same thing as everywhere else. So I can turn that off. It's the same thing. Look, it's my nice, my nice police lamp. Police, 5,000 watts. Okay. And with this side here, you can, you can bash somebody's head in. Look at that. <laughs> well, how do I get it from the date to this? Ah, oh, it's a date smasher. I know I got it. The potato masher. It's just like you know, the Germans, they had the potato masher. The hand grenade of the Germans. Eh? Yeah. So how come, just for the Jews it's the same, you know, 
don't you ever think that in 1948 the British Empire they gave Palestine to, to them Jews you know just like for nothing just like that come on without having the power over it beforehand through the um, the whole Freemason network of their of descendants of Pharaoh of these ones here eh? King Solomon and as I shown you in my film the um, the Middle East trilogy Unfortunately, it's in the third part. YouTube, for some reason, wouldn't let, let me upload it. But it, you can find it, the third part, on the, uh, the channel of uh, Roseanne Barr. My dear Roseanne, she copied it re really good in her way. She just filmed the screen. <laughs> That's okay, Roseanne. So, you can find it there. You know that even among the Jews, you know, they... They advertise in Israel that, you know, you can do a, genealog um, a genetical test. Like if you're, you're, if you're a descendant from King David. So they make a difference there if you are a pharaoh or just a normal Jew, like. Eh? And even the Jews among themselves in Israel, they got big problems. They don't even like each other, you know. You got the um, Sephardic Jews. That means Spain in Hebrew, Sephard. You've got the Ashkenazi Jews. Ashkenazi means German in Hebrew. That's why Yiddish is a German language. Also because there would never were any pogroms or you know killing any Jews in Germany as they did in Poland or Russia or in the Baltic Republic or Switzerland. So they were fairly safe there. You know? So they developed the, the German Yiddish. Hebrew, German. And uh, then there is the Mizrahim, or Mizrahim. That is the, that's the, the third big um, Jewish community in uh, Israel. And they are the Oriental Jews, the Arab Jews. They can be Arab and Jews at the same time, probably. And um, they, they definitely don't like each other. So, yeah, well, I mean, they're the slaves, but these ones are very highly organized, you know. They understand each other perfectly. Doesn't matter if it's an Arab king or um, King Queen Elizabeth or the Belgian king or whatever, you know, they, they, it's one big family. The house, like a circle around it, hey? It's the house of Pharaoh, the Per Ah. Okay. So I'll show you this here again, Jordan River. Okay. It's all Freemasonry. Okay. Even in, in Jew land, as we say, as you might say, um, I don't think uh, the Jews, they can open up their own shop, you know, that easily because of these ones here. Same as, same as in the West. We're all their slaves. They, the Jews, they've got quite a tradition of being their slaves, don't they? Okay, it's everywhere, folks. We're just, we're just sitting here and looking at it, and it's everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, do you hear me, Solomon? Hey, eh? I'm coming after you to get you, Solomon. Hey, eh? Napoleon Solomon, you know? <laughs> it's all the same. Hey, Napoleon and Solomon. Hey, it's all the same. They're, they're all emperors. Napoleon was an emperor. Solomon is an emperor. A double emperor. Emperor Napoleon Solo. Hey, from Solomon, of course. I'm coming after you. I'm the real Napoleon Solo. Hey, there you go. You just fall, fall down already. Yeah, look some Swissy eggs. You see the flag, it's a square, eh? And it needs to have that on it, otherwise people won't buy it. And here, it's from Migros. Now why do I put the M here, eh? M info line. For Master Mason, of course. Eh? Okay, here, it says, uh, bio 
bio Swiss Swiss biological food of course with the uh, the Swiss Templar flag in it red and white in a square and you see the the, the logo here it's like it's like the fleur de lis you know for Isis Horus and Seth Seth is the big one there are three things in it don't you believe that's a coincidence the whole thing is in a circle which is also the concept of three it's not a coincidence this here is a Swiss cheese with um, uh, with um, hot peppers in it you can imagine the cheese with peppers here look this is what it looks like oh, it's already rotten but that's no problem with cheese look at that where is it from eh? look at that Engelberg this is where Dr. Mengele where he went skiing with his son Rolf was in the the most richest boarding school in Montreux in Switzerland all financed by the multinational billion dollar company of Mengele of his family this is how Mengele he could survive also you know no problem at all you could buy him papers everything and go skiing with his son no problems at all you know give a little bit, bit of money to the Swiss so they shut up they would shut up anyway and they did everybody knew in this place you rather call it Mengelebag instead of, instead of Engelberg Engel means the angel or the angel of death eh? So that's why there's the all-seeing eye on it as well here, here the all-seeing eye it's uh, what's that? Schaukäserei a looking, a looking place where they make cheese Oh, what the hell, you know? How many eyelids? What is it? Seven, eh? Can't see it very well. Seven eyelids, which is the number of a pyramid. The concept of three and four. <laughs> Mengele bag. Here, there's a Swiss cheese, a Swiss Templar's cheese. I won't stand. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, your bloody Swiss cheese, eh? Because of the sun, yeah. Okay, got it. Um, you see these blokes here? They call it the Swiss. They, they call this cheese. Of course, there's the Swiss flag here. Eh? They call it Tête de Moine, which means the head of a monk. Oh, what a name of a cheese, eh? The head of a monk. So you see, look at this head. You know, it looks like. Somebody's been passing on his head with a compass, you know, putting it in the middle and then go right all around it, you know, like compassing his head, eh? Three, three, three templates, concept of three. And look what they do with the cheese. They put a big compass on it and then they go, they, they mash it all around, eh? And they, they cut it off like that. And then you get this sort of, well, I'll show that later, this sort of a cheese here, which is all rolled up. Oh, isn't it nice, eh? Oh, I want to eat that as well, eh? Oh. Yeah. So this is a, um, a Templar's cheese, eh, with a compass. And look at the logo of the company. It's called M.A. Of course, with the Swiss flag, the Swiss mountains. Oh, isn't it nice, eh? Look, the whole thing is in the oval, and there's a crown on it. Well, why a crown? There never were any kings in Switzerland. They have the new world order, horizontal rule since 1298, 9, 1, 1291. And that's just why under the crown, oh, well, you know, not focusing in because of all the lights. Under the crown, you see, there's a, a horizontal line. The crown is the vertical rule, and the Swiss New World Order of the Knights Templars is the horizontal rule. That's why they put the horizontal line underneath it, and the whole thing is in an oval, like the Oval Office, in the pharaonic colors of red, white, and blue. 
Blue for the war, red for the old world order, and white for the new world order. It's not a coincidence, and the crown has, again, just like the bio logo, it has three things in it. Eh? Fleur de Lys, Horus, Isis and Seth. This is all in the lovely Swiss mountains. Oh, look, it's so clean and white. Eh? White for the, what, the New World Order. Eh? There never were any kings in Switzerland. They already had the New World Order for, since 800 years, 1291. That's why they always say, oh, we Swiss, we have the oldest democracy in the world. But it's not even a democracy. Because they got seven heads of state, like in the book of Revelation, seven heads. And they have the final word if a referendum passes or not. And there are plenty of referendums that didn't even pass, you know. They're just prolonging it. Right? They say horizontal rule, eh? And the E almost, well, oh no. Yeah. Templus cheese, eh? Dead the one. The head of a head of a monk. And you got all this lovely nice Swiss stuff around it. Oh, you know, like a oh, I forgot the name. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh come on, come on, honey, let's buy it, eh? Let's try it out. Well if eight billion people try it out at one time, I mean you're you're in, eh? It's all multinational stuff here. This is multinational. Engel bag, you know, Mengel bag. It's, it's all multinational, you know, the, the Mengele Corporation. Oh, I showed you the cheese, eh? Uh, look, this is what it looks like. If you, if you pass the Freemason compass on a cheese, you get this here. Bloody weird, eh? Looks like flowering. That the one, that the Turk. It says fromage de Belle. So there's probably some Templars commandery there. I wouldn't be surprised, eh? A Templars chapel and all that. And look, I forgot to tell you. If you, of course, the Swiss flag is the compass, the the concept of four. Yeah. And the the crown has three things, so and and the horizontal rule is also the con the square the con the concept of four. So every and everyone everyone who's initiated will read here square and compass immediately. This is really the thing, folks. The concept of three and the concept of four. It's the secret symbol for them, right? How many mountain tops are there? There's even the Templars V in the mountain top here. Look. Oh, doesn't focus in. Uh, like that, uh, that that Jesus painting, eh? You might say that, but I don't know if it's true. Yeah. So, a monk having the compass, having passed on his head, eh? That's why they call it the Tete de Moine. The head of a monk. They all know it, you know, they all know it. It's done by it with a compass. You make make that circle on his head, eh? Why? Why do they do that? Why make a circle on your head? Probably only the Templar monks did that, eh? It's Christmas. I'm sitting here all by my own. Um, um, this story here starts with... Uh, Oh, there we go. It starts with something sweet and it ends with something sweet. In the middle, it's not sweet at all. So here, look. You got these, these things there. They're little bears, eh? You see that? Little bears. No. Gold bears. This is a gold bear, it says. But here it says, Orsetti, they're little bears, Doro gold bears and there he is the gold bear with a red tie for the for the um, 
the, the red house, the Per Tasser, with four, for the concept of four, four little white whites in it for the White House. So this guy who, who made all this, he's a royalist, it means that. And we were in the, in the uh, so this is the original gold bears of Haribo, and the original from 1922. This is the same era, you know, where we had two world wars, the Tsars just, just being killed, to put in place, now we got it again, the new world order out of the old world order, right? And Mr. Hitler, at the same time, he was um, going to Switzerland, eh? That's why this stuff, it got invented by a, a doctor... Somewhere, Dr. Riegel. I have to do that again for you. And um, look at the name. This is also the same era where the Germans had a spy, a female spy, which was called Mata Hari. And Hari, she was a pharaonic dancer. Um, and Hari, uh, it means the sun in Indonesian, because she, I think she was half Indonesian and half Dutch. There's the word Ri in it for the sun, and Bo, probably from Ba, the soul. Their souls, they come out of the sun, they're not from here. And Ha, it's probably Ha, A, being big or pregnant. It's just, you know, the, the whole name doesn't sound very German, isn't it? You know, not at all. It's all pharaonic, folks. And here in the other ones, you know, you've got a little bear to, together. And, and, you know, bear, this is where they tortured me. Bear. You know, bam. It's the, cup, it's the capital of the beast. Bam. It's like in the Revelation. The bear, you know, is Swaziland. Eh? Bam. It's the capital. It's where they rule the whole country out of. And the world, from bear, the bear, okay? they are the beast. And here you can see the bear together with the crocodile. They walk us through history again. The crocs, the pharaohs, and the bear, Switzerland, from here to here. You right? And with that, in between, that on his neck. Coco, coco dri, it's Italian for, for the crocs. So, yeah, well, it's already, you know, you can counter that with me. It doesn't stay sweet very long, eh? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So this guy, uh, Dr. Rigo, he, um, So it says here this guy here, Dr. Hans. Yeah. Dr. Hans Riegel. Uh, it's difficult. Uh, Dr. Hans Riegel. Well, it says somewhere, right? Yeah. So what do you need a doctor for? You know, to invent some sweets. What do you need a doctor for? It's probably the same guy who invented uh, Zyklon B, Dr. Hans Riegel, eh? in, in, in blood in 1922. It's all the same era. Well, there were some greens as well, but uh, I guess I ate them. Eh? I ate the greens. Oh, yeah. And why gold bears, hey, the gold bear? Because this one here is gold or golden. The sun, Ri. Oh, I have with the light. The sun, hey? The gold bears, Doro. It's all related to Pharaoh. So this is what it's all about, folks, you know. Now, so here we got some brown sugar, you know, 
as their salad for brown sugar. Right? You see the colour is brown. So I put it here in a glass. Look. I put it there in a glass. Here. You know, it's all a, it's just a coating everything, you know? It's all state religion. Everything is a lie. They lie you know they get a look, I put water in it. Yeah, look. See I stir it a little bit. I don't have to stir it even long. Now, I pour this back in the water. Gets a bit, it gets all a bit brownish. And what you've got left here is like, it's white sugar. It's completely white. It's not brown anymore. It's a coating. Everything is a lie. You see, the sugar has completely turned white. Look at that. Look at the difference. Eh? It has turned white. It's all a coating. It's just as religion is. Politics. It's all a coating. Everything they tell us. Don't you, th don't you think about it a split second. So where's the brown? So it's not solid brown. Eh? It's a coating. Don't you think a split second that they let us celebrate our like our Christmas, our holidays, if it was just ours, they would never do so. They only let you celebrate theirs. It's their state religion. It's their religion. Nobody's going to help us. And there is a creation. The creation gave you a head to think. It gave you two hands to act. It gave you two legs to run and to attack, to defend. Nobody's going to help you. This is a creation. It gave you the head to think intellectually. This is the only thing our heads, our minds, that can save us. Hope will not save you. Religion will never save you. We've been waiting for 2,000 years. Nothing is going to happen. <coughs> In the meantime, they put all these burn and golden bears and it's all over. Use your mind. That's the creation, eh? You've got a mind to think. It's all white. Everything is a lie. Even sugar. You can do it. You've, you can experiment it at home and just have a look, eh? Even the normalest sort of normalist things like sugar. They have to do it, probably. They must cheat us, otherwise it's not valid for them, eh? This is how it works. It's a coating, folks. Religion is a coating. Belief is a coating. Believe. It's not going to save you. It's not going to save the earth. What you've got in your mind, in your head, and in your heart, afterwards, and at the same time. Hearts and minds. It's the only thing that's going to save you. And love for the world. Forget about love for God, or love for Jesus, or love for Allah, or love for whoever, what, you know. Love the earth. Without it, we're gone, eh? and it is going down. Love your children. Stop all these wars. And hate the enemy within. And hate the beast. The home of the devil. The beast in the Alps. It's their base. Burn. Gold bears. 